Well, powdered alcohol could soon be on store shelves, but state lawmakers say it's a potential danger to minors. News 18 Samantha Tiki reports on legislation aimed at banning the product before it hits Indiana shelves. It's a powdered form of alcohol designed as a convenient way for adults to enjoy an alcoholic beverage by just adding water. But Republican State Senator Ron Alting says it's a recipe for disaster. It's got bad written all over it. Alting authored a bill to ban the sale of powdered alcohol in Indiana. He says the product could easily be abused by minors and easily concealed, allowing it to be taken into places like schools and other places where alcohol is prohibited. It is something that's just bad public policy that could affect not only our young people, but the workforce in general. Bedrock Liquors owner and Indiana Association of Beverage retailers board member Greg Bush says there's unlimited potential for abuse with the product. We decided there was so much uh, potential for abuse and, and, and downfall of this product that we just uh, think it's best that it's not available. Mark Phillips, creator of powdered alcohol product Palcohol, posted a video online defending his product. These are the same amount, one drink in each. You're not going to choose Palcohol. The package is too big. Palcohol isn't supposed to be available until the spring of 2015, and Phillips doesn't believe the product will fall into the hands of minors. It will be sold in the same licensed establishments where alcohol is currently sold, and only adults 21 years or older with proper identification can buy it. Bush says although the product may seem like a good idea, he says there's just too many risks and says the Indiana Association of Beverage Retailers supports Alting's bill. At first I think it would be uh, be popular and I, I you know it would be a good good uh, stream of revenue for us, but uh, I think uh, you know the, the the potential problems outweigh the benefits to us. The Indiana Senate passed the bill at the end of February. Alting says it's been fast tracked in the House and is optimistic they will pass it too. He says he hopes to see the bill signed into law before the end of March. Samantha Tiki, News 18.